Cancer. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly general reading for the week of May 28th to June 3rd, 2018. Those of you that are new, thank you so much for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Cancer, please click the pink subscribe. I would so very much appreciate that. So, for your reading, I felt led to the Spellcasters. Amazing deck, modern spellcasters. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Just as a reminder, Cancer, if the reading doesn't resonate for you, please look at your other signs, your moon, your rising. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, the Instant Go app. The links to everything that you need are right below the video in the description box. Cancer, all my Cancer subscribers. You guys have had some nice readings. For real. It's about time. Cancer. All my Cancer subscribers. Cancer, May 28th to June 3rd. Spirit, what does Cancer need to know? Sure, a card isn't flipped up in there. All right, it's not. Okay. Well, that was a very nice cut, I must say. Okay. Central issue the High Priestess. Wow, your foundation is the Two of Cups. It's a very different deck. Definitely not like your traditional tarot. The Sun reversed. Ten of Pentacles. Justice reversed. And we are going to clarify this. Some of you have big family, like big family, big money business here. Some of you married for money. Some of you are married for the business or are merging into a much bigger business. That's my first thought. Lots of money concerning your business, concerning your soulmate. Your soulmate can, I mean, really, you know, soulmate can be a family member, definitely. You know, the, and it could be platonic. The high priestess, some of you are holding on to secret information, secret feelings. The sun reversed. I mean, you're 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 drained physically, emotionally. It could be that a Libra or a Leo was draining you. Justice reversed. It's poor judgment. It's bad behavior. It's wrongdoing. Feeling as if something was done unfairly. You could have been dealing with a Libra. You know, that was stealing to provide for their family. I am getting that big time. You could either know about this. Or involved. You 
you either know about this or you're involved in this. You could be physically connected to a soulmate. It could be a Libra or a Leo, maybe a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. But I feel like some of you definitely got married in secret. Others of you got married for money. We need to clarify it. Wow. Okay. Interesting. It's a very interesting deck, though. Pretty, really, it's amazing deck, really. Uh, no, I don't want to clarify with them. I want to clarify with this amazing deck, the distant past. I know my camera keeps flickering like that, and I have no idea why. That literally just started doing that. I do apologize for that, but that will be fixed ASAP. Okay, um, justice, yeah, right to justice first. We gotta go there. Justice, right to justice. Okay, this just flipped out. What do we got here? What did I say? I did say justice, but I really meant... I was really thinking about the Ten of Pentacles. So just... I'm sorry. Hold on. Here. I really... I really wasn't... I was focused on it, but then I talked about the camera. All right, so... Cancer. The Ten of... Wow, the Two of Cups flipped up. Unbelievable. Again, that's twice. Okay, so uh, someone definitely got married for money. Or are going to. I mean, this would be a family that has big money. Oh man, let's let's go to justice now. Justice for cancer. Why is justice here? Okay, definitely. This one wants to come. This is a very tiny deck, but I love it. Oh my gosh, somebody did get caught doing like stuff, like bad stuff for money. Wow. Okay. Somebody was definitely doing bad stuff for money. It could be marriage for money. Oh, I'm sorry. This is materialism. Um, the death or the devil reversed. This is a very interesting reading for you guys. Um, Like there's, there is like an affinity towards another person. Like I don't feel like you hate this person, this other person, or that they hate you. I really don't think so. But you, you have Capricorn energy here. Some of you are literally waiting for a Capricorn to get divorced. Like and really, guys, I am so sorry to tell you if you're involved with with a Capricorn. I do not see that happening. Not this week, anyway. Like, you think... You think that... You think that they're in a bad marriage because they married for money. I mean, which could be true. But they're not getting divorced. I mean, that's Major Arcana. On Major Arcana... If this was a private reading, I would say this is going to take a while. What an interesting reading, though. All right, let's, let's go with the Two of Cups, Spirit. The Two of Cups. Okay, definitely. This one wants to come. The 
the magician or maybe they they maybe they have been like manipulated but now i think someone made something happen like they married strictly for this this family security long term benefits that is really what i'm getting like you think you might think that they're your soulmate and they're with the Libra or they're dealing with a Capricorn. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see the sun. The sun card. Okay, definitely this one. Um, yeah, let's see what's there first. Page of Swords reversed. All right, so this is your kid with the, I mean, with the sun. This is your kid in the past. No. Maybe for, for a small number of you, but... Oh, my goodness. Um, I think, I think more so this is you kind of in the past spying on them. Maybe one of your children helping you do this. But definitely not seeing eye to eye. Like you could be in love with a Leo doing this. You have a Leo not getting divorced. And maybe because materialism is reversed it's not like you know they're staying for money it could be that you're the one that's in the situation I mean I listen guys I, I have a few scenarios here a lot of marriages here if you're happily married you have a big family you're doing very well financially Listen, you guys are definitely with your soulmate. You're with the right people, okay? Let me get you guys out of the way. You're definitely with your soulmate. That's very, very clear. Okay. Others of you. Others of, you, others of you are trying to be with a soulmate and they're married. The Ten of Pentacles, that card indicates, and it's upright, indicates, you know, the big family, the big money, the big marriage too in this card. You know, like these people are solid, stable. And financially well off. With the Two of Cups, but also with materialism coming up, can indicate that someone is staying for money, but yet at the same time, you could be focused on someone you think is doing this, but that's not the truth. They're really not doing that. I hope I was clear about that. Okay, let, let me let me look at the high priestess. What a, what a reading. When this is upright, this is destitution, being broke, being locked out of the family money, inheritance, 
whatever reversed you're back in they're back in or someone is secretly with someone secretly packing away the cash something it's kind of i mean it's kind of amazing It's amazing that, I mean, that I got the Two of Cups twice, too. I mean, that's just, like, holy shit. I'm going to get another card on, on this High Priestess. High Priestess with the Five of Pentacles. shit the justice card again the same way guys you can't make this shit up let me tell you something i'm telling you somebody's doing sneaky shit it's definitely unfair they could be i think i think if this was a private reading they're de they're definitely married and definitely packing away the cash for whatever reason but ironically, I, I mean, oh my God, I'm not seeing a divorce. Justice card is reversed twice. That is absolutely no divorce. They could have promised you that they were getting divorced. I mean, it's not justice and and reversed and, and materialism. That's not a bad situation. If someone was having an affair, you know, the promise that, that was left is a lie. Like I'm, so, like, I'm so sorry. Like, there is definitely spying going on online. You could be just focused on someone that is married, even though it's, it's unhappy. They're not changing. They're not. They're not. Like, you're dealing with a lot of Libra. Leo. Maybe a Virgo Taurus Capricorn sign. Like, I am so sorry to say this, but those of you that are waiting on someone else, it is just not happening. Not this week. And with Justice Reverse twice. And they could very well, literally, truly be a soulmate to you. I mean, both of you feel the same way. I mean, someone is established in a long-term connection. If someone is waiting on you, you're not letting them know. You're hiding. You're hiding something. Some of you could be married and you're, you know, you're not letting them know that either, that you're married or you have a family and people think you're single. That is for just a small group of you. This does not feel like career at all. Maybe in a different deck it would be. But not right now in this deck. This is all family. The family business or a soulmate connection. To someone that feels exactly the same way. But they are not leaving this relationship. their marriage. I don't think they're leaving you either. Let's pull a Romance Angel card. Please clarify this for cancer. I'm really just going to ask. These are the Romance Angels. Sorry. I'm just really going to ask if this person is your soulmate. That one definitely jumped, but, but just, I, I'm not it jumped, but I want to make sure here. Whoa. All right. This card definitely came up. Passions. There's definitely a lot of passion between the two of you. 
Who's that? Oh, stamp to Mystic Bought Your Love Life. Must have flopped, flipped up too. Flopped. My goodness, sometimes what I say. First, passion. Stay optimistic about your love life. No. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I could feel the passion here. Like That's why I'm like stumbling over my words. Some of you definitely are going to stay optimistic about this. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Especially those of you that are single. Those of you that are single, really, there is a potential for this person to be your soulmate if they're not married. If, if they're not married and their family is just big money. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Reconciliation. You probably ended it with them because they are married. They're coming back because they do... There is a, definitely a loving vibe here. I mean... At the Two of Cups twice. Look at this Two of Cups, really, in this deck. Beautiful, right? This deck is amazing. Etsy only. You will not find this on Amazon. You know, even here, even this Two of Cups, you know, whether you're male or female, gay, I mean, really, I, it's the modern spellcat. I, I really, I don't use this deck enough. I love this deck. But overall, guys, I mean, nobody's breaking up. Nobody's getting divorced. Some of you are actually taking someone back. Listen, if you're holding secret feelings back from somebody, like th this is definitely the time to tell them. For real. Those of you that are waiting on someone to get divorced, justice coming up twice in a private reading, I'd say that's going to take a little, that's going to take a while. That is not going to be a week, two weeks. I'm sorry to say. Cancer, love you guys. That was a very interesting reading for you guys. Um, leave your comments. Let me know. I always read all of the comments. Even though I don't get always get the opportunity to respond, I do read all your comments, honestly. But, um, thank you for taking the time to watch the video, and I will see you guys back here very soon with the monthlies. Till then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.